Hey, what's going on, Freedomers? Um, you know, uh, I will start the live with uh, this phrase. I'm going to love myself so much that the world has to love me. Um, the world has to love me the way I love myself. And the way that I love me. And yesterday that I reflected on an event that happened yesterday that made me think. And, you know, a friend of mine was supposed to pick me up for an event that we was going to at six. The friend, her friend that invited us came at, you know, told her that it's going to start at seven. She did not let me know let time go by and then call me at seven and I call and I say, you're calling me now? And she said to me that in response, instead of saying, you know, I, you know, some not even making an excuse, which is still unacceptable, but not owning up at all and saying, hey, I apologize. You know, I should have let you know earlier. She said, you could have texted me and said, hey, are we still going? And I said, yeah, I get that. But that's not my, you're picking me up. That's not my friend. So I don't know what happened because she's in control of if I go or not. To some extent. So yeah, I could have texted her, hey, um, are you going? Am I, are we still going? Yeah, I could have called her after like 15 minutes and said, hey, we still going. But if you knew you coming to get me, why aren't you responsible enough to let me know that you're going to be late? If you're responsible, let's say, let's not even say, forget the party. I'm just knowing that you're, we're supposed to be there at six and you're picking me up. So that's all I'm concerned about, right? Fully. I'm more concerned about you picking me up so we're not late. So, you know, when I got in the car, her daughter said, you're being overdramatic. And I said, no, no, no. If somebody tells you six o'clock that the that they're gonna pick you up or or the party starts at six o'clock and they don't show up to an hour later and they don't alert you what's going on that's disrespectful that is a person who doesn't really care about you that's unacceptable you never let a person and i said including your own mother pick you up. If she says a certain time, she t she picks you up later with no communication. And I thought to myself in that moment, as I thought today, not only is her daughter trained to, to realize, because I didn't, because you know, she said I was being dramatic. And then she said, and she also said, so you're saying my mom is being disrespectful? I said, yes, but we're not going to talk about that right now. And as I reflected today, I was like, she's being taught, if she voices her opinion, she's being overdramatic. And that's sad. That I didn't, being overdramatic would it mean if I got in the car and I punched it, punched it, if I, if I got in the car, if I would have uh, uh, called the outside of her name. That would have been overdramatic. Because that, because somebody not showing up on time doesn't require you cursing them out. Now you can, you have a right to, but you it that's that's over the top. And and I said to myself today, 
when we would know it's crazy as we were driving when she was using her navigation to get there um she if the, the her navigation was taking us in circles and basically making us late well not late but but taking us in circles she even went to a, a she even went to say out loud oh i don't think we're supposed to go there because because her navigation was taking a circle. So she went to spirit, she went to the spiritual philosophical lane. I'm saying maybe the universe is not taking us there because I'm going in circles. And I put it in I, I put it in my address and there was no confusion. And I was like, hmm, it's funny how you need my navigation to get us there. To the point where I almost I put my phone away and then she said, Hey, well, where where are we going? Right? And today that made me think and say, when you're you can't treat people like shit because you'll go around in circles. Because especially if someone is going with you on your journey, you never know how you need them. So when my when we went to the navigation with place with my navigation, it was like, it was like, I did the right thing by voicing my opinion, and she needs me. So, I thought to myself today, that why are you even in a position to? Why are you even in a position to not be loved right? Where if somebody gets sin, this is not the first time this person has done this. Why are you in a position where somebody gets to treat you any type of way and show up anytime they want to? Why are you in a position where somebody gets to mistreat you? And I said, it's because you don't, you share the vibration of not loving yourself correct. Because if you love yourself highly, you wouldn't allow, or you wouldn't be in a position always to be around somebody who feels it's okay to mistreat you. And as I grow out of this vibration, I, 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 really thought to myself that I got to love me better because I don't want to be in a position anymore where somebody feels it's okay to show up whenever they feel like it. And that's small. And I texted her today with something that Spirit told me. And what I realized is she's not, probably not going to respond that or even really get a real conversation that you have an addiction to a vibration where you're not being acknowledged, heard, respected because you grew up like this your whole life. So I want to love myself where I get acknowledged, respected, understood by the right people. Because when you make it a habit to be around people who don't even respect your time, it says a lot about you. Not even about them. And because you always have to take personal responsibility for your life and who you hang around, you have to take a certain level of responsibility to say, hey, why am I even attracting this type of person? Now, again, like I said yesterday, I was going to go live yesterday, where I said the lesson is, one of the lessons I've learned about life is they're doing it to you, they're doing it through you, to themselves. So whenever I'm learning not to take it personal, but what I learned 
is that when that navigation went in circles, it was because she did it through me to herself. So she created confusion. Because she put me in a bad spot. So you got to learn to love yourself enough to, and I'm learning that sometimes, sometimes the, the position doesn't call for you to cut them off, but to treat them very differently. And I learned with this person, I got to keep a high level of distance because she has a habit of not acknowledging me and not respecting me. So I got to love myself enough to do that. Not even love her enough, love myself enough. And I think that's what you need to do when you attract abuse. If you can't completely cut it off, how do I got to love myself enough to treat that person in my world? Comment seven below for your manifestation guide.